My name is Holly Young. I am originally from Standing Rock and I am a Dakota beadwork artist. I'm following in my ancestors' footsteps, my grandmothers, who all have made work like this. They were decorating items for the purpose of telling a story of our history as Dakota people, how we were thankful for the environment and the elements and the animals that provided and sustained us. I didn't know who they belonged to, what did these flowers mean, why did we do this? So then my journey began from there. The small items I found of my grandmother's were very um, monochromatic. And so when I went into collections, I found these colorful items, which blew my mind. I wanted to try to reflect what I was feeling and seeing in these pieces and put my flair into the piece that I was creating. This amulet piece tells a personal story. Standing Rock right now is in the middle of a fight for basic clean water. And a turtle signifies a long, healthy, happy life. When I beaded this, I, I put in the Lakota language, mini wichoni, which means water is life, because it just made sense to me. That's very important to me, for me to leave her something to hopefully pick up and continue to keep alive when I'm not here. So there's some techniques on the beading that you'll see in some it's of It's the importance of continuing those stories, but also remembering the knowledge of who we were and who we are today. It's not something that we forgot. This is where all you have is time to think. For non-natives, um, it's really important to have an understanding of the meaning of the work and the importance of the work. It hasn't been a major part of our history in Minnesota, and I think it should be. There's so many designs, but when you see them, you feel like, wow, that's, that's home. That's me. That's us. You know, that's who we need to be today. That's why I feel a strong urge to continue to try and teach and revive and bring this art form back to my community.